Where are you? What's your name? What day is it today? I have no idea. So disoriented. Oh, okay. It doesn't feel like planet Earth, honestly. Yeah? It's really nice. If you like skiing, odds are that you've probably already heard of Whistler. Consistently rated one of the world's best ski resorts and also the host of the 2010 Winter Olympics, it's safe to say that there is a ton of hype surrounding Whistler. But is Whistler really worth the hype? Today I'll be answering that question and I'll be taking you guys on a 72 hour epic adventure through Whistler that Sharon and I went on last February. People who know about Whistler mainly know it for its skiing, but today we will not be doing any downhill skiing. Instead, I'll be showing you all of the other amazing things about this ski resort. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The simplest way to get to Whistler is by car. Sharon and I rented a car in Vancouver and we took just about the easiest 90 minute drive all the way down the Sea to Sky Highway until we hit the Whistler Village and got off at that exit. So in this area, this is like the upper village of Whistler. As soon as you come down the ski mountain, there are pubs and bars and restaurants just lined up over here. Music, a DJ blasting, even now in COVID, which is insane. People hanging out, everyone at their table spread out. But it's awesome to see this life and this vibe going on right here. And this is where you want to be, even if you don't ski, because you get to see all the ski action, all the ski culture, and it's truly amazing. Oh, we do a little dance party now. Want to bust a little move? Then we're done. Oops, I almost forgot to tell you what Sharon's holding. That is a candy green apple from the one and only Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. The Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory is one of the most famous fudge places in the whole country and its birthplace was actually right here in the Whistler Village. I think it's time to get you some fudge. I think that's pretty dangerous. <laughs> I think we should get you some fudge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what ended up happening? Uh, I was pressured. <laughs> I think we're all happy, so yeah. if you don't mind, yeah. I just want to dig in. <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, world famous score apple. Mm. You don't like it? You don't want any? I'll have the rest, don't worry. You know, like <laughs> I never had score. Stork. Huh? Score. I said stork. No, score. Stork! No, dude, score like like the like the chocolate. Yeah, yeah, that's intelligence. Now the good thing about this is that we're getting our fruit in. My mom always tells me get two servings of fruit per day. Well, at least we're having some. It's a healthy snack. No sugar. We hear a lot about the Whistler Village being a world-renowned tourist destination, but besides eating, drinking, and shopping, what else can you really do here? And it just so turns out that they have the perfect thing for everyone looking to channel their inner Canadian, and that is to go ice skating. I clearly already don't know what I'm doing. He has to tighten my skates for me. Like I'm back at hockey camp. <laughs> The little kids. <laughs> I think, I think I might go pro after tonight. Without any thought, I keep moving on. This is, this is easy, honestly. I'm getting better. At least I'm trying. Okay, let me see if I can keep up with William. How to play with chance of your life. Okay, try to be brave. You have so much to say. Take control of your own life. Do you recommend this? Oh, absolutely. Also, if you ski, this is for you. Kind of similar movements. 
Very similar to cross country skiing. Which we will. Oh. Wow, I'm standing still in my fall. Which we will add to the list. Yes. So this is Sharon's first Dairy Queen ever. That's incredible. So I don't normally like anything mint chip, but I heard good things about this. By I heard, I mean William told me. No, yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> first Dairy Queen bite ever. 22 years old. No, oh, I like it. Actually? Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Can you give it to us? Give us the flip. Give us a signature flip. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Love it, love so it first cool. sight. Yeah, really. Go, do a little dance. Hey, 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 hey. give it to him. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, another awesome activity that you can do while in Whistler is not your traditional type of downhill skiing where you see all the beautiful mountains, but instead it is cross country skiing. It's one of the best workouts that you can get. I personally don't know of any, any other exercise that burns more calories per hour. You get to see the mountains in a different light, meaning that you ski through the forest, you ski on a lake, around the lake, within the forestry, whereas when you're downhill skiing, the main thing is going up and down the hill with the same view. So I find this a lot more fulfilling in terms of experiencing and exploring. Here are the views that you can get from our cross-country experience in Whistler. So there's no left and right, so you can lay them down on the snow and keep people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. It's a beautiful day, shaping up. It I is. You, I know you wanted the, sun, the snow, but... I know, it was, it was snowing really hard in the morning and it seemed very winter wonderland-ish. I was pretty excited about that. Yeah. But now it's just nice and sunny and pretty. So that's, that's fun. Okay, let's see how the, how the pro does it. That is so weird. Okay, cool, no? Yeah, very cool. Wow, it's like a treadmill. <laughs> So disoriented. Oh, okay. It doesn't feel like planet Earth, honestly. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Recommend skiing over this, though. Yeah. Yeah. Big skier. Now, once you finish cross country skiing, the only thing left to do is to keep tradition like yesterday and go get some dessert. It just so turns out that there's one famous dessert shop in Whistler, and that is Cow's Ice Creamery. Cows is really well known for having one, amazing ice cream, but two, really cool flavors and flavor names. We didn't get any of the flavors they're famous for, but it's okay. What are they famous for? I think the Wowie Cow is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a DQ, there's also Cow's Ice Cream. Cow's Ice Cream, the most recommended place to get dessert. Mind you, it's minus five degrees Celsius right now. Do you care? Not enough to not have ice cream. Priorities. Mm. Oh, I took a piece of cookie dough. Oh, yeah. Cookie dough is just life changing. It tastes minty almost. There's okay, no mint. onwards we go. Mm. On day three, our final full day here in Whistler, we decided to do something that most people actually don't know about. And that is to spend a good portion of the day doing the bath treatment at the Scandinav Spa. Basically, we spent a full half day doing cold therapy, sitting in ice baths, hot therapy, in nice warm hot tubs, and just relaxing on solariums. And we kind of made it a routine, repeated the process a couple times. And we basically just took half a day on a Sunday to give back to ourselves and to do something for our mental health. I think we both definitely came away from it loving spas even more, but also feeling better about who we are and probably appreciating Whistler just a little bit more than we already do. This is all really, really nice. Very relaxing. I don't want everyone to leave. Yeah, this has been awesome just to have like a little getaway. 
here in Whistler. So at the end of the day, Whistler is not just all about skiing, but it is really defined by its ski culture. People will come here from across the world to experience the best ski action there is in Canada. But you always have to keep in mind that when you visit a place, don't just go to the mainstream spots and do the mainstream things. Think outside the box because there are many activities that aren't in front of your face in Whistler that you'll have to find by doing your research and you'll realize that you end up loving them maybe even more than the actual ski experience. Now I'm not a big skier so I didn't come here for downhill skiing but I did realize that I love this town. Let me tell you if you have the opportunity to ever come to BC, if you ever go to Vancouver or if you're making a trip down to Canada, you should add Whistler to your list. Well worth the trip, well worth seeing what a ski resort in Canada looks like, the best ski experience, just an awesome town. I really can't say enough good things about Whistler. But before you go, one more thing. If you are driving to or from Whistler, you have to take some time to make a few stops down the Sea to Sky Highway. Sharon and I picked two spots to stop. The first one right off the highway is Tantalus Lookout. And the second one is back near Vancouver, and this is the Vancouver Lookout near Cypress Mountain. And so with that, I thank you guys so much for watching this video, for exploring Whistler with me, and I hope that you try these when you make your way down to this beautiful town. Please like this, please subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time.